Have you ever tried to enter your thoughts and think about absolutely nothing? It can be quite a relaxing activity, like if you're meditating or staring off into space in class. But unless you are a monk, random thoughts will probably pop into your head whether you want them to or not. Where did these thoughts come from in the first place? Nobody knows. But we do know, or what we think we know, is that the same thing happens in vacuums. Not the angry machines that suck dirt from your carpet, but quantum vacuums. In physics, a vacuum is a state where no particles of matter exist, which means no atoms, no photons, no electrons, and no physics cat. In quantum theory, this kind of vacuum is sometimes called the quantum electrodynamic vacuum or a QED vacuum. But what does nothing really mean? Take a moment to think about it. Imagine physics cat and a block of cheese are resting on a surface. While it looks like there isn't anything between physics cat and the cheese, we know from atomic theory that the nothing between them is actually composed of tiny air molecules such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. But what's between the molecules? Even if we consider just a single molecule of oxygen, we see that it comprises a nucleus made up of protons and neutrons surrounded by an electron cloud. The relative size difference between the nucleus and the electron cloud is so large that once again there's a mysteriously vast amount of nothing between the nearest electron and the nucleus. Let's go one step further. According to the standard model of physics, a single proton comprises even smaller particles, called quarks, specifically two up quarks and one down quark. But experiments have shown that the sum of the rest masses of these quarks is only about 1% of the total mass of the proton. The remaining 99% of the mass actually comes from the energy of the quarks. This comes from Einstein's famous special theory of relativity. According to this theory, spacetime is curved, the speed of light is the speed limit of the universe, and as objects approach it, their energy manifests physically as mass, represented by the equation E equals mc squared. Now we're getting close. Because the quarks and the proton carry energy, they are constantly in flux between these two states of energy and mass. As a result, the surface of a proton is actually not a static place like a table, but is fuzzy. In fact, if we zoom into a bit of nothing, we will see that this kind of behavior is everywhere. Because of the mass-energy duality, no mass in our vacuum does not mean no existence. It just means that our vacuum might be more energetic than what we originally thought. What exactly does this mean? Physics Cat will reveal the answer in an upcoming episode, so stay tuned for part two.